how I got myself into writing. At a young age, I was naturally attracted to English books and read them during my spare time. I like the fact that how imaginations and thoughts can be painted in words. One of my first inspirers for English as a language was Mr. Tiong, an American educated teacher. He has a slang hat and he made English as interesting as he could. Next was Mr. Sunny. I underwent his English writing training for two years or so by attending his three hour tuition classes every single week. Some might say his style is cruel but, and strenuous, but I found it crucial in the building of great writers. He made us write for most of the times and corrected our mistakes on the spot. Miraculously, that was what sparked my interest in writing consistently. After having graduated from his class, I opened up a blog to write. Initially, it was just slurs of thoughts and nothing really concrete to start. Eventually, I wrote more and more, achieving one post per day status for almost a year or so. That habit was further reassured as I was recruited by a company to do copywriting for them after they saw my writings. But things happen. Work and creativity drop hit me like a truck. And I did not know how to react accordingly. As I normally, when I write, I do not have too much pressure on me. And I do know how to handle it properly and actually deliver uh, my writing every now and then consistently. But somehow, these two factors come into play and I really do not know how to react to it. And one more thing happened. Uh, blogging uh, is one of the activities online which is out of date. It is it does not really gather any audience. And so this is also another demotivating factor which actually pushes me away from blogging uh, for, for quite some time. I took a long break when I suddenly lose interest in blogging and conveying my thoughts to other people. But ultimately, these are the excuses that I make for myself. Yeah, so let's dive back. Yeah, dive back to when I first started writing, and the the main reasons I write at the first place, and those are the, still the reasons which still applies to why I still keep writing now. First thing, writing actually acts as a voice for my mind and for my heart. Okay, so. Every day, things happen, okay, in the world, around me, or happen to me. So, sometimes I just have to vent it out, yeah, somewhere, someplace. Sometimes, I just have to jot down those inspiring things that I just saw that happened around me or happened to me. Sometimes, it is just simply to record those uh, interesting memories as, uh, as it is. No, regardless of you know whether I like it or not, but I'll just record it as as it is. Yeah, it, it just feels good after writing down what I actually experienced or what inspired me or what I have to say. It actually get get something out of my chest and it is simply refreshing, and it can be something to look back in the future. Secondly. Writing acts as a training ground for me, okay? Practice makes perfect. And I still hold true to this, uh, to this very day, yeah? As I got myself more and more into writing, I felt like sometimes when all things fail to get true, words do come true significantly, yeah? Although it is out of date, yeah, as I mentioned, out of date for me to do this, but I still firmly believe that Sometimes what I write and what I convey is actually meaningful. Sometimes it may be powerful to one another and could potentially create wonders, okay? Or perhaps destruction also to the people around me. Thirdly, 
Writing is one of my side passions. A life is lived fully when you have found your purpose in doing so, which is finding where your passions are and doing those passions passionately in a consistent manner. My main passion is doing maths. It is quite dull if I just do maths all the time. So I have other side passions beside of maths. One of them is writing, obviously. Yeah. So these are the side passions which I really like to do and I I love I love to do that. Yeah. It is not burdening when I do it, but it actually it is fun and it is it is energizing to actually write to an audience. Okay? And the last one is to remain articulate in the world of numbers or in the world genera- generally. Yeah. As mentioned, I love maths and I and I I could not deliver my thoughts about maths in a simple, elegant and understandable manner. I failed myself to I failed myself in sharing my main passion, sharing my passion with other people. So same goes to every aspect of life. I feel like if I could articulate myself, that means if I can present myself better and more and and even clearer to other people, uh that would reduce it would reduce the misunderstandings with other people. So I just want to make sure that I do my part in being able to articulate what I want honestly and truthfully. Yeah. So these are the f- four 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 reasons that I still still write. And for the future perhaps since uh writing has been one of my prominent stuff of my in my life. I will keep on doing it even though if there are no people watching it or there are no uh, readers to read it it is just something that I can keep and something that is meaningful to me I hope that you guys also have something meaningful that you do consistently and you will and it is one of your passions to do like running swimming or whatsoever something that gives meaning to your life. I probably write three posts per week. Yeah. And I actually did did so for the these few weeks. Yeah, I'm glad I did did so. And if you want to visit my blog, it is somewhere around here. Yeah, somewhere around here. I'll put the link here and in the description. So Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.